All right, so I really hope that I can bring the energy in this video because it truly deserves it. And I say this because I have to remind myself every single day of these topics that I'm gonna explain right now. And I have to remind myself because these topics and these things that I'm gonna talk about really got me to that, that next level in my business every time I wanted to level up. These are all topics that I think about daily. And if I didn't, then I truly believe that I wouldn't succeed in any area of my business. So with that said, if you are just starting out in business and you're trying to get to that next level, or maybe you've already been in business for a while, I hope that these topics and these reminders can kind of help you out. So the first topic that I wanna talk about and something that has drastically changed everything in my business is essentially having that back against the wall mentality. Now you probably heard the saying before, back against the wall, and you probably think about the actual sense of the saying, back against the wall, I have to do this, blah, blah, blah but most cases you don't really have to do anything, right? Most cases when you're starting a business, you probably have a nine to five. You probably already have a source of income coming in. You don't necessarily need this business. You just kind of want the business. You kind of want to be an entrepreneur. You want to have your own business, whatever the case may be, but essentially you don't necessarily need it. So your back really isn't against any wall. It's you know, you just wanting to do business, so you're doing it as like a hobby. But what I'm talking about is actually having that mentality. So when you get into business, you need to have the mentality of actually having your back against the wall to where if your business does not work, if everything were to just go downhill and you weren't to make any money, then everything's over, you're done, you're dead. That's the way you need to think about this. Because if you don't think about it this way, then you're gonna take that easy road out. You're gonna have that plan B option. You're going to go back to your nine to five you're going to just quit. You're gonna go do something different. You're gonna go move on to that next business model, whatever the case may be. But if you don't have that mentality of back against the wall, then you're just gonna move on. Now this can happen a couple months down the road. This can happen maybe a year down the road, whatever the case may be, but it's most likely going to happen because that's just how humans are wired. If you see that it's not working, then you're just gonna move on and go to the next thing and go do something different. You have to have that mentality. You have to have the back against the wall mentality if you truly want to succeed in whatever you're doing. The back against the wall mentality is really what's going to get you to that next level. It's going to help you scale in your business. It's going to help you get to where you wanna be because having that mentality is basically a no quit mentality. You're not going to quit. You have to do this or else. You have to succeed in business or else. So having this mentality early on is really what's gonna get you to that next level so you can continue to scale and continue to move forward. Now, the second topic that I wanna talk about is to invest into your business. A lot of people are scared to invest. They're scared to give away their money. They're, they want their, their money. They want their dollars in their pockets. They want their money in their bank account. They don't wanna give it to anybody. They don't wanna invest in anything. They just want the money to be able to go buy the things that they want. And I understand, I get it. We start a business, we wanna make money. We wanna go buy the things that we want. We wanna make more money than we were before so we can you know live the life that we want to. But in the beginning stages, when you want to win in business, when you wanna win in your first business, you have to invest. You can't be scared to give away your money. You can't be scared of money. If you want money to come to you, if you want to attract money, you can't be afraid of giving away your money into your business, especially because this is something that's going to bring in more. The business is what's going to bring all of the things that you want into your life. So I was talking to one of my, one of the students inside of Windchill Repair Training, and we were talking about investing into ads and he wanted to start running ads because he knew that if he ran ads, he'd be able to get his name out there, he'd be able to show what he does to everybody in his area and be able to get more clients that way. So I was talking to him and he was talking about his ad and he was basically saying that you know he wasn't seeing any results and he wasn't really getting any leads. And I asked him, okay, how much did you spend per day on, on the ads? And he said, I spent $10 and he wanted to quit the ads. He wanted to stop the ads after spending $10 on them. That just shows me that he's scared to give away his money because it's $10. That's not a lot of money. I mean, maybe it's a lot of money to some people, but if you're starting a business and you want to invest and scale your business, that's not a lot of money to invest. I talked to him and I told him, I said, Hey, like $10 is just not enough. Like you're, you're, you know, you're not investing, you know, enough to be able to see returns on that. Sure. You might be able to 10 X your $10 in some investments, but this is your business. You really have to 
not be scared to give away your money and invest that money into your business to be able to see growth. $10 is not really gonna make much of a difference. So you have to not be scared to invest into your business. Investing money is just part of the game. It's just part of what you need to do to be able to scale. And a lot of people are scared to do that. And like I said, I can only speak from experience. I was scared to invest in the beginning as well. I don't like investing money and not seeing returns. I don't like you know doing that. Of course, nobody does, but you also have to be patient with it. You also have to be able to kind of stomach what you're giving away and what you are trying to do. So if you're trying to invest money into your business, you have to understand what that is doing and exactly how you're going to learn from it too. All right, the third topic I wanna talk about is you need to do the best that you possibly can. I truly think that this is the backbone of your business. If you are not doing the best that you possibly can, and you really have to ask yourself, are you really doing the best that you can? This is something that you always have to remind yourself, but are you doing the best that you can? Are you doing everything that you possibly can to make sure that your customers are happy? Are you doing everything that you can to market your business? Are you doing everything you can to make sure that you're the best in your niche, in your service? whatever you're doing are you the best are you doing everything that you can do to make sure that you are the best these are all things that you have to ask yourself and you essentially want to be the best in whatever you, that you are doing because if you're not the best then the best is going to take your spot and they are going to succeed and you're going to get left behind so you really want to have that backbone you really want to make sure that you are doing the absolute best that you possibly can now I say you want to be the best, you got to be the best, blah, blah, blah. But you have to do the best that you possibly can because that's all that you can do. If you just do the best that you possibly can, then there's not much more that you can put into it other than time. You, you can put in more time, you can put in more effort, I guess. But if you're doing the best that you possibly can, then there's no reason why you shouldn't succeed in all of the areas that I talked about and all of other areas in, in business in general. And this is something that can be forgotten because a lot of times we'll get into business, we'll start succeeding, we'll start making money and then we'll stop caring a little bit we'll kind of be on uh that that cruise control that pilot mode and we'll kind of just smooth sail across and that is when you kind of stop scaling that is when you put your foot off the gas and you're not really going anywhere maybe you're you're going in a straight line but you're not going up or maybe you're going in a straight line or starting to go down uh you know and starting to get worse because you took your foot off the gas so you have to do that the best that you possibly can to be able to scale and move up in business, especially when it gets hard, especially when you start to get comfortable in business, when you start making money, when you start consistently bringing in money and, and you know, having successes with your business, it's easy to let off the gas and not do your best. It's easy to kind of just smooth sail across but you have to remind yourself and want to get to that next level. So this is something that you have to remember as you go. And it's really, really important. And like I said, it's a backbone of your business because if you do the best that you possibly can, your customers are going to see that. Everyone's going to see that. And that's what's going to help you grow. So these three things are seriously what helped me scale my business, get to that next level in business. They also helped me not quit in my business because there's been so many times where I just wanted to stop. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to go back to working because it was safer, because I knew I was going to get a paycheck, because all this business stuff is super, super hard. But I remembered these three things and it's kind of what helped me get to that next level and continue to move forward. And like I mentioned these are all things I've personally went through and I can only speak from experience I know there's a lot of people that talk about you know what it takes to win and what it takes to win in business blah 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 but these are the three things that I've tried and I've tried so many different other things to really get to that next level but these are the three that kind of stood out and showed me you know that they actually do work as long as you commit to them and you put in the time to actually get to that next level so form that back against the wall mentality invest into your business no matter what it is money uh, time effort whatever it is invest into your business and do the absolute best that you possibly can thank you guys for watching i hope that helped you in your journey uh, whatever journey that is whether you're in windshield repair or any other business with that said i will see you guys in the next one and thanks for watching